What's going on, beautiful people? Good morning and welcome back to another Hall's Capital video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be talking about HBAR once again. Now, as you all know, there is DeFi, NFT, and a lot coming to the HBAR network in 2022. So we're excited. We've already covered a couple of the NFT opportunities. It's very early in those once again. Please be cautious if you're playing in the NFT space. Uh, what I want to talk to you guys today about is our HBAR bridges uh, that are starting to pop up on the network. And we know bridges usually lead to DeFi opportunities and DeFi protocols and money being sent into the network. So great opportunity. We are going to be talking about Hedra and Hashport. Uh, Hashport is a bridge that is uh, between the Polygon Matic network uh, and the Ethereum network, uh, bridging to and from HBAR, guys. All right. Uh, very exciting times are coming. And what I'm going to show you in this video to do uh, is how to get everything set up. So if you're like me, uh, I do buy a lot of my HBAR, um, you know, decentralized to like quick swap and different things. I love using the Polygon Matic network just because of the cheap fees and opportunity on there uh but again you may find yourself running into issues uh and i showed you how to do this before where if you were buying luna on uh polygon matic you could use the wormhole bridge to send it to the luna network um if you're trying to get your tokens to their official network and if you want to get hbar off of ethereum or hbar off of matic and send it directly to your hbar wallets you can do that using hashboard now Two things that we're going to do. I'm also going to show you guys how to do a Venly wallet. Uh, and this is just two days ago. So two days ago, they made this announcement. I tried to do the video two days ago, but the wallet was still acting a little buggy uh, where it was having issues actually connecting and being like recognized by the hash port interface. Uh, but everything looks to be cleared out now. Uh, but basically, uh, Venly is a web based wallet. Uh, you do when you set it up, it's going to look kind of like this, guys. It's um, a multi chain wallet. Uh, as you can see, a couple of different chains are compatible, Bitcoin, Ether, VeChain, Avalanche, Matic. So you can store a lot of different coins in here. Um, right now, this is the only one that actually gives you connectivity uh, to Hashport without having to put in your private keys. So that's why I'm showing you this way, because as you guys know, uh, I'm not a fan of ever having to put your private keys or your 12 word seed word into any of these um, interfaces out there. Again, maybe safe, but as far as I'm concerned, it's still fairly new. Uh, and I don't believe in that uh, religion of putting my public or my, my private keys into anything. So my other option was to set up a Venly wallet. Uh, the setup is very, very easy, guys. All you need to do is uh, create an email address. You can use a regular email address, a burner email address, whatever it is you need to do. You set your email, you create it. Uh, and then you come in here, select the wallet that you want to use. Uh, once you select the wallets you want to use, it will give you all the information. Uh, wallets can hold NFTs. You can do transact. You can see your transactions and everything in there uh, that you need to do. Uh, and then, of course, it does have the option right now where you can see that I'm currently connected to Hashport. Uh, so in the future, as we continue to see more HBAR DeFi being built out, this could be a wallet that ends up getting utilized uh, into that HBAR uh, you know, DeFi space. All right. So I'll include the the link for the article. So if you want to read through it and talk, and it talks a little bit about the, the Venly wallet, what they're doing, um, just being a multi-chain wallet and looking to expand connectivity. So how do we send and transfer tokens and bridge tokens from HBAR? So right now, currently the only things you can bridge are Ether, Matic, and HBAR, as you guys can see. Oh, and now Dove. So uh, this is the newest one that they just added. This was not even on here. Uh, a couple of days ago when I was using this. Um, so you can bridge any of these tokens over. And again, please pay attention to the networks. Uh, if you're bridging HBAR from the HBAR network, HBAR from the Matic network, or HBAR from the Ethereum network. So I'm going to be coming from the Ethereum network to the Hedra network. Uh, and when you do that, it's going to usually ask you uh, for what wallet that you'd like to be connected to. Uh, the three options that it normally gives you when you have this drop down box are import private key, create new wallet or connect to Venly. Because I'm already connected to Venly, uh, it doesn't show me that little pop up box, but I'm just letting you guys to be aware that pop up box exists now. 
Uh, you do have to port at least a minimum of 80 H bar. H bar currently trades around 22 cents. So 100 H bar is like $22. So call it about 20 bucks that you've uh, you've got to at least port like a minimum of right now to move. So uh, let's just say we wanted to go ahead and port the 100. Uh, we'll do that port. We'll look and see what it is. They're going to charge me half of an H bar. Uh, we will go ahead and hit continue on that. Please do not reload this tab. You will be able to repeat these steps and we are unable to recover your funds. You will need to pay for all the network transactions to compete prior um, to porting the ex uh, execution uh, by entering I understand. So please type I understand and submit. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I understand. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna risk the $22 for you guys so you guys can see what it is and we will hit submit all right did i have to put the the parentheses around it or i have to oh capital letter maybe all right there we go so it's got to be capitals all right guys there we go now we're getting the transactions to confirm popping up in our metamask asking us if we want to go ahead and do this all right we will go ahead uh, we will hit sign. Let me make sure I'm signing and I'm okay with the amounts. Uh, all right, so we'll hit confirm on there. Here comes our transaction to confirm now. And we will confirm that little gas fee spend on that. And that is it. Now we are transferring 100 uh, HBAR from the Matic network to the HBAR network. Uh, we just give it a couple of seconds, guys, while this thing spins out. Uh, and there we go. We should almost be done. All right, complete. So we are now complete. Uh, I can find my account details right here. So I will just copy that and save that for myself. This is the contract link. So if you want to go ahead and open it up to see your pending transaction. Uh, and that's really it, guys. That's all it should really take. Uh, please allow up to six minutes for the balance on your Hedra account to be updated. And then I can also see my details there. So when I come back over here, I should see um, sooner or later in the next five minutes or so, uh, I should see my 100 H bar pop up and show up. Let's see if we're refreshing. Maybe we get lucky uh, and it does it while. Well. Nope, still not done yet. All right, cool. We thought, thought it would be uh, at least worth it. <clears throat> All right, so we're good to go. Uh, I'll leave the screen up until it's done completing and validating all the blocks, and then I will just complete it and close it out. Uh, and again, I would recommend once you complete this, guys, you have the option to do the download receipt so that way you can get your hash, your transaction tag, uh, and everything else. Make sure you sign your transaction hash or you at least copy it because what happens is in the event, uh, and let me open it up just so you guys can see. We'll go launch app. In the event uh, you're unable, da, 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 ended before. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me wait. I don't want to interrupt the port. So I'm not going to start a new session. Uh, but in the event uh, something happens while your blocks aren't completed yet, uh, with your transaction hash, you can come back to hash port and you can go to the tab that says recover and you can recover this transaction to start it back over again. Uh, but that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you uh, very exciting times you know once bridges come to the network you know they're trying to get ready for the opportunity of a free flow of money that is probably going to be coming into the network so we're excited to see this build out happen uh hash port um you know fairly easy uh, to use right there you can move ethereum over to h bar uh you can move matic around and you can move h bar to those other networks um in case you want to port some of your h bar off of the h bar network into like polygon matic and you want to go um pool it or do anything else with it you now have that option using hashport and remember if you set up the venly wallet it's only an email address so maybe use like a dedicated crypto email address or create a brand new email address to use this on um and then just set it up uh, and then remember, anytime you do anything login wise, they're going to send you like a six digit password to your email to confirm it is you guys. I hope this video was helpful and I will catch you on the next one.